Welcome back, friends. So I want to discuss a particular bee I have in my bonnet uh, regarding yesterday's video of uh, folks that took issue with me throwing a handkerchief manufacturer, a USA veteran-owned hanky manufacturer, under the bus, according to them. And I disagree. Uh, and I'm going to explain why. And I, I, goodness, I must have blocked 7,500 people yesterday on this because I just, I just don't have time for it. I just don't care. I, I don't. Uh, I don't agree with it, and I think you're not seeing the big picture. So, uh, if you find yourself blocked, come and apologize. I'll unblock you. You have no free speech here. This is my channel. I run it. I do the best I can. I try to be keep uh, honesty and integrity into the channel with everything that I do, and I don't. Um, I don't think that I treat people unfairly. It's just it's never been my nature. It's not my way. So the issue was. Uh, a, lot, a lot of folks said you should have contacted the manufacturer and given them a chance to make it right before you threw them under the bus or you blasted them publicly for producing a product that I thought was less than uh, acceptable, in my opinion. And I disagree. Of course, if someone were to send, doing their, if someone was doing their best and they were trying to produce a high quality product and something happened or there was a slip up, of course, mistakes are made. I make mistakes, I share mistakes, I, I never hide things in the edit when things don't go according to plan. I put it out there. I, 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 I don't have any ax to grind here, but I don't intentionally do things poorly. I don't intentionally do poor work. I try to do my best in everything that I do. My dad summed it up perfectly. You strive for perfection and you end up with mediocre. And it's okay to end up with mediocre if you strive for, for protection. This particular, why this particular incident and why this particular product I thought was so terrible is because of three strikes. If you look at the, how many things were wrong, you get a picture of, of a company, it seems to me, in my opinion, that they're not really trying. And when someone's not trying, I have zero patience for that. That's a completely different thing. Someone not trying is very different than someone trying and making a mistake and slipping up. You guys, many of you, are under the impression that they're producing the finest quality, doing the best work that they can, when I don't think that that's the case, and I'm going to make that argument now. I give this product three strikes, right? It wasn't one thing wrong. It was three things wrong. I ordered them with my own money. From a, They have no idea where they were going. They pull them out of stock. That's the only way you can do it. Companies cherry pick things when they know they're going to send something to a creator that may put their product in front of millions of people, right? Number one, the screen printing was not very good quality. It was not consistent. It was not done very well. The moment you saw it, you could tell this is not a quality item. Okay, so maybe they had a bad run, but I purchased two packages from two different places. They both came, they both shared the same issues. So what that tells me is that that is a consistent problem among it. Okay, not a big deal, it's a handkerchief, right? Number two, the screen printing is not squared on the handkerchief. It's all at an angle. It's crooked. That's number two. So not only do we have a bad screen printing, but we also have it's crooked. It's not done properly, right? And that's across the whole board. All of them, all six of them were done poorly, and they were all, it, it wasn't as if they were all twisted like the same. They were all different. So it, that tells me that there's a problem across the board that they were all have an issue. Okay, that being said, no big deal. Then the fabric is not cut, cut square. You saw it in the video when we tried to fold it, right? And things come at an angle and it's not even square. And that's the third strike. That's three things. That's three things. That is not someone having a bad day. That is not uh, as some, uh, 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 some saying, you know, that wasn't done at two o'clock on Friday after a big lunch. That's just, in my opinion, that's just sloppy craftsmanship. That's just, just sloppy work. That is, to me, someone that don't care, that doesn't care. So when you come to me and you try to defend that, you try to defend sloppy work, what that tells me, and I don't know for sure, but I'm going to make an assumption because that's what we do. We make assumptions, right? I'm going to it's going to tell me that that's probably coming. Someone that would make a comment like that is a mediocre person and probably does mediocre to low end work and doesn't, do, maybe works for the government. <laughs> Who knows, you know? Uh, it, it's just some, it just speaks to the character of like, if you don't care about those little things, you're like, well, what does it matter? It's a handkerchief. It matters. It matters that a guy goes out and puts his work boots on every morning and has to work and pay taxes and, and, and fight and, and, and claw and scratch to, to earn a living and to put his money in something that someone disrespects him by not doing the best that they can. There's no excuse for it. 
I don't care if it's the smallest drywall screw. I want it to be quality. I don't care if it's a handkerchief that costs $3. I want it to be quality. When I can buy something out of China for one third the price of what I paid for those that shows up and is better quality and is square and centered with better screen printing, there's no excuse for that. So don't come to my channel and don't come and accuse me of throwing someone under the bus and not treating a company fair. You're not seeing the big picture. They're not treating us fair by putting out an inferior product, in my opinion, right? So that burns me. It made me really angry, and that's why I blocked so many of you. So if you want to come apologize, I'll reinstate you, maybe. Uh, but most people, I mean, 99% of the people, they get it. You understand, you know, you, 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 you get what I'm saying. I'm not being unfair. I'm not being disrespectful to anyone. It's, it just wasn't up to, it, it was not acceptable was not acceptable so and I'm gonna take a scorched earth I mean it's either I turn off the comments or I just get rid of the people that have that mentality that mediocre mentality never holding anyone accountable I think what it does is tr someone that's trying to do well and trying to perform a good product and trying to do the best that they can I think it shows a spotlight upon them that makes them uncomfortable and it highlights that their life is mediocre at best and shabby um, but I could be wrong. It, mis it made me mad. It runs, runs, runs me the wrong way. Things should be done properly. You don't have any idea, if you haven't worked in the trades, how, much, how many man hours are wasted on guys that have to deal with inferior products, things that are not done right. You take a, get a company in on a house that puts a foundation in and they're sh they sloppy, shabby work and it's crooked and it's uneven. You know, that carries on and all those guys have to deal with that shabby work. The finished carpenter at the very end, he's got to try to make it work. He's got to try to make it deal. The drywaller, it makes his job more difficult. It makes the roofer's job more difficult. Everyone suffers from poor quality work. It's one of the greatest sins that man can produce. So this idea, if you've ever uttered the word good enough for government work or I can't see it from my house, shame on you. Shame on you. You're the problem and you are the bane of men that down the down the road that have to deal and compensate for your slovenly work and your makeshift attitude and the millions of dollars and waste and time and aggravation that, that has cost is innumerable. I asked my dad, I said, how many man hours do you think are wasted on a job site dealing with shoddy work? He said, I wouldn't surprise me if it was 30 percent, 30 percent. And it wouldn't surprise me either. Thanks for watching. Give me a Tylenol.